to better minds. News Nation legal analyst Sarah Azari, criminal defense attorney Arthur Idella. This is very, this is all gravy for me. These are two people who I, bo I love both of them. Who wants to do the prosecution side of this, Arthur? No, I, I, was, gonna, I was going to defer to my esteemed colleague. <laughs> okay, so Sarah, help me, help me, and I like the glasses. Help me understand. I don't understand why this case is being brought. What am I missing? Well, look, Chris, it's being brought because there, there's, a, there's a dispute between the standard of care. So what you said in your setup is that how should an actor know? Why, why would an actor know? If this jury with the prosecution standard of care, which is a universal gun safety rule that no matter who you are, what the scenario is, you are supposed to check the gun. You are not supposed to rely on the words or the check of somebody else. You're supposed to check the gun yourself, and he failed to do that. You're also not supposed to point the gun at somebody. He also did that. So, but, but the defense, Chris, is coming in with a different standard, a Hollywood standard, the idea that an actor mm -hmm. can rely on the safety of props given to him. So there's going to be a dispute between those two theories. So the first There's a live round in the gun, Arthur. Okay, the I mean, how, how do you anticipate that? So here, here's the first thing. Tomorrow starts jury selection. Uh, one of the first questions I ask the jurors, uh, potential jurors, is where do you get your news from? Because you have to look at the person you're representing. And I'm representing someone who, unlike 99.9% .9 of the trials in this particular case, people know who the defendant is, right? 99.9% .9 of the time, the defendant is a stranger. So I'm going to ask them where they get their news from to make sure there are no big Donald Trump fans there. And why do I say that? Because Alec Baldwin has developed this huge reputation of making fun of Donald Trump. So the first thing you have to do is eliminate some innate prejudice that a human being may have against that particular defendant. Because, Chris, to your opening point, why is an actor who is given a gun by someone who is now doing 18 months in prison, that was her job to make sure it was a cold gun, and then an assistant director says, confirms it's a cold gun, and I believe he's going to testify on behalf of Alec Baldwin, saying, yeah, I told him that the gun was safe. Well, What's you know the win that they got? Oh, wait, hold on, Sarah, hold on one second. Hold on one second. Arthur, what was the win that he got today? I believe that person is going to be allowed to testify. There's also um, some uh, document. Well, the, oh, Alec Baldwin, they're not allowed to say that he was a producer on the movie. They're not allowed to say that he was yelling and screaming at people on the set to hurry up. The judge says that's irrelevant. Compliments to the judge for keeping this, the evidence here pretty streamlined. You know, Sarah, I don't what think were you going to say? Yeah, I don't think that's as big a win as, as we're making it out to be. Because it's neither here nor there. I mean, Alec Baldwin should be tried in the capacity of the trigger man, not a producer, not these things that typically we see in a civil lawsuit, not a criminal prosecution. The bigger but, uh, win, I think. But, but look, Chris, the bigger win here is the prosecution got a, the gun into evidence. Uh, there was a mm -hmm. trombetta motion the defense lost. And they get to get an expert who's going to testify this gun was functioning perfectly and that the only way that it could have fired was if you pulled the trigger. And then I have a star witness, if I'm Miss Morrissey for the night, I have a star witness who's going to come in and say that they that he saw Alec Baldwin pull the trigger, which is completely inconsistent with what he said on your podcast and on ABC. All right, and yeah. other that, look, that's, a, that's a problem. That's a problem. But I, I, I believe that that's that's a problem. But here's what I still don't have to get. And then, Arthur, I'll let you deal with that. But, Sarah, just give me a quick take, because I'm not feigning stupid on this. I really don't get it. I don't get how you get me to a standard of care. I don't believe that actors check the weapon all the time before they use it. Why would they? They have no, What are you checking for? I well, check a weapon every time I'm about to fire it because I'm using live rounds. Why would they, Sarah? But, but that's the whole idea, is that you have to assume the gun is not safe unless you have checked it yourself. This is what an expert's going to testify before this jury. All right, I get and it. So but it's not a Hollywood standard. It's a fake standard. It's like we're, we're, we're playing make-believe. But, it, Arthur, it, give a quick well, blowback to what Sarah said. Real quick, the Hollywood standard, the SAG after rule is the, uh, the actor or act, the actor does not have to check it, number one. Number two, Chris, it doesn't really matter if he pulled the trigger, if he didn't pull the trigger. The real element is there should not have been a live round in there. And who's right. responsible for that? And Sarah mentioned the term civil lawsuit. If this case is going to trial, it should be in a civil forum, not in a criminal forum. Him. No one deserves, at least Alec Baldwin does not deserve to go to jail for this. Maybe pay right. some money to that poor young woman who's, who we so lost children. Hey, thank you for watching. 
please go to newsnationnow.com, newsnationnow.com, and you can find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of News Nation's fact-driven coverage.